Hello everybody, welcome back to another Pokemon Ultimate Randomizer. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to show you my team real quick. I did some training up. Uh, I got everyone up to level 30. So let's look at Flamedramon real quick. Our pure dragon type with the skill link and poison jab, flamethrower, mirror shot, and return. Funny enough, still got flamethrower. And it's a dragon type move. Uh, next is Torkoal, the dragon water type. With the minus ability and super fang, charm, ice shard, and surf. Uh, next up, we have Ponyta, the Dragon type, <laughs> with the uh, Tangled Speed ability, Headbutt, uh, Poison Jab, Tail Glow, and Flamethrower. Next, we have Bayleaf, the Ice type, with the Shadow Tag ability with Leaf Blade, Fly, Dragon Dance, and Doom's Desire. Next, we have uh, Torterra, the Normal Fighting type, oops, with the Storm Drain ability, which I think we're on the updated Storm Drain, which means he's immune to water, which is pretty good. With the Fighting Rock Blast, Fighting Sky Uppercut, the Ghost Psychic, and the Normal Ring Out. And finally, we have actually the Water Staryu. Didn't get randomized on that one. With Spore, Super Fang, Giga Drain, and Magic Leave, and the Magic Guard ability. And that is our team, fully level 30. Oh. Where did I leave us? Okay. I had to go somewhere else for training, but I couldn't remember if I brought us back here. So, yeah, last time, if you guys remember, uh, we lost our starters and a lot of our major team members. So, here we are trying to get things worked out. Uh, I was really confused on who we have fly to, but it turns out it's an ice move, so we'll give it to Bailey. So, we're going to go back to Olivine City. Oh no. L let's do the stuff up north. We can do the Suicune encounter. Let's see what goes on there. So, uh, this episode is going to be a little late. I'm actually doing this uh, day of, and by day of, it is uh, 9.28 and needs to be up by 10. And we're just starting. So, I'm going to try to get this as close to just straight 30 minutes as possible in order to uh, get it closely on time. It's not going to be exact. Well, that was quick. So we'll see what happens. But how's everyone's week been doing? Hope it's been going good. Uh, I know I said I was going to do a bulk recording for this week, and I only got to the first two episodes. Uh, Saturday was interesting. We didn't get to exactly where we needed to be, but we did get the uh, shelf completely up. That was taken care of. And uh, let's see what else. And then after last episode, Wednesday's episode, getting completely wrecked. Just had to rebuild. And then this week's been busy with work. Um, uh, I'm finally working at home. So my work at home has me working out on my desk. Uh, let's see if I can't get this on camera. That's my um, uh, dial pad. I had to get a custom one because the one that work was trying to give me wasn't working for my desk. I don't see what's in here. But it's finally done. I only have to go in one day a week now instead of well, one day into the office. I still work five days. So it does tend to be difficult trying to get these videos out at the same time because trying to balance life with uh, work, the videos, and still spending time with my wife. I love my wife. But she's getting work now, so I'll probably do some videos while she's at work now. When when that when that when we get that set up, but again, I hope everyone's been having a safe week. We're going into the weekend after this. Uh, funny enough, I'm actually saying that, and I'm actually going into the weekend. We're actually going into Friday. Oh yeah, that's why. Over here. So yeah, we should be doing a lot. We should be getting our Lake of Rage encounter, which is going to be a guaranteed shiny. It's not going to be a legendary because of reasons. 
Here's how static Pokemon work in this game. Uh, legendary Pokemon are set for legendary Pokemon and non-legendary uh, regular static Pokemon are re randomized to any other regular Pokemon. So we can get anything from any Gen 4 or below non-legendary Pokemon, which is non-mythical as well. All right, got to get the medicine first. And you as well as if you can see, if you saw last episode, no one has evolved. There's no one's evolving to like two to six more levels. Uh, funny enough, I found out the Ponyta doesn't evolve for another 10 levels. Oh, 40 for a Rapidash, really? We need a Water Stone for the Staryu. But we still have random Evos, so they'll become anything they want to become. We'll find out then. But something like a blaze again will never evolve and will forever be a blaze again. Blaze again evolves in this. Alright, let's just let this. So bright. I love how she takes the stairs when there's still an elevator here. Doesn't even have floors, it literally just goes from. Top to bottom. That's all it does. Nowhere in between. I'm also noticing how dangerous this lighthouse is. One of the levels in order to get to it, you literally have to drop. Off the side of the lighthouse. Alright, I'm forced to enter this. Oh, it's the warden. Yeah. I know it's another encounter, but that's just out of our way. We want gym battles. We want story progression. We want a lot of it hurting me to get destroyed by these people. Alright. Big on Jasmine. I got Blazing up, up front. He's leading my pack. She's inside a leap. So we're on par. Oh, gonna flinch that. Okay, so. Am I dealing with a steel type again? What's dragon? I think dragon's only not very effective against steel. Uh, so let's send out Cody. Because it's, yeah. So let me go for a the Sky Uppercut. So it's a Steel Ghost. I think it's only weakness is ground. Ground and fire. It's funny ha playing Psychic with it. So I'm looking forward to not messing with stuff like uh, typings again. Let's go to blue because I want blue to evolve. I think blue evolves at 32. So let's go for a leaf blade. Neutral hit. All right, we're going to get you out of that. So that could be a fighting steel. Could be a lot. Let's go to Badoof. Water dragons very helpful. And what one more? I don't want to go back to blue. Let's go to Iro. And the Terra is fully evolved, so 35. <laughs> I'm glad it's an execute. That could have been really bad for us. And we beat it. We might be a little further behind than I thought we were going to need to be. At the same time, I don't want to over level and make this ridiculously easy to get through. Because if I did that, what's the point of watching? Like you watch for the intensity of someone potentially losing this, right? 
like, what's the what's the point of watching like it's a solo project there's no group effort here it's not like i'm doing a cage lock to where we go to the other gym and then we fight and then the first is six points wins or a forgetting the name like a soul link to where i could be super high level but if my partner's not then whenever they lose a mon my high level mons now go out the window i got fly what am i doing I think we're gonna put the bay leaf up front. Just to see what it evolves into. Funny thing, it's also risky to let them evolve because they don't evolve to something of the same type. So they can lose their stab moves. So it's dangerous in that aspect. Oh, also on Monday, I want to thank this person. Hold on. I want to bring this up. I, 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 I'm such an in an early stage that I want to make any call out I can. I got not only a comment for Monday's episode, they also liked and subscribed. Oh, it made me so happy. I love it. Anytime one of my viewers, any viewer does this, um, uh, this was called the shiny shack, which we'll be getting up. Uh, encounter if we catch one this episode uh, they said uh, love soul silver so much just subbed good luck on your nuzlocke shiny shack if you're watching this episode thank you so much that like work made monday absolutely horrible for me uh, that was probably one of my biggest highlights on monday so again thank you um, well, we did get our encounter in the cave, and we did fish over here as well, so we don't get any encounters from them. Uh, do we have cut? Because here's Suicune again. We do not. So, Suicune, bye. A blueberry. But we have several. Uh, you know what? Like, I owe Miles one, but Miles already had his, so... Shiny, you'll be getting our next one. The encounter actually stopped me from going on the wrong part of the land. Uh, this was dupes anyways, but we're still not in a new route. Ooh, now I want that item. That's not, not, not that much, though. So, let's see. A Stantler. Like, I, I just find it funny of how much it drops. Doesn't like ice types. How does it feel for dragons? Ugh. Kind of wish I went for the poison jab. It killed anyways. There we go. We do not give out our numbers to strangers. Our mama raised us right. Oh, was this a new route? We can check on the Poke Gear. So 42, 42, no. So it's all 42 until you hit Mahogany. Got it. So I'll just battle these guys until I feel like I am not safe to fight them. And we'll go from there, right guys? It comes out with a Cedra, level 17. We're level 30. Yeah, get that experience. Weedle, ha! Huh. That's from Mock Punch. Interesting. That's gonna get me no experience because it's a Weedle. Alright, we're almost to Mahogany, and then we can go north and get our. get more encounters there. And then we'll do all that Team Rocket stuff. Beedrill, hey, didn't we just fight a Weedle? Tang. This would be a problem for an ice type, except I don't know what typing you are. I think one more level on blue should do it. There we go. So blue should be evolving this episode, hopefully. 
let's heal up. I think I, uh, let me check my items. I think, because I complained about this last episode. I want to say I off camera bought items. Okay, I got 20 super potions. I off camera bought some items. Uh, let me, I'm going to also check Pokeballs real quick as well, because I'm the one that won't pay attention to the fact that I needed to buy Pokeballs. I want to say we're good. Why did I go in here? I feel like we got enough money. Searching Pokeballs, Terrace Balls, and 11 Ultra Balls. Yeah, we're still looking pretty good on that. Let's -a go. Come over here. My computer just woke up, so it's still full of energy. Alright, so we have three encounters we can get. The Route 43 encounter. It's right here. There's the Lake of Rage encounter, and then there's the Lake of Rage static encounter. Uh, ooh. Bidoof. Bidoof is my mon for this. Why would you do that? Okay, has ominous wind. Leaf blade is it an ice type? Yeah, I, I I can drop it some more. There you go. I'm just hoping it doesn't get any stat boosts. I feel like I'm still going first. an ice type move yeah it might be an ice type mom no it's not shaking i think that was its last ominous wind i don't think trick room has a lot either what does it have a fourth move i'm gonna heal up because if it randomly gets a crit uh that could be the end of a doof it had another ominous win, and it was going to be a crit. Pokeballs are cheap. Ooh, so close. Let's try Premier Ball. I like Premier. Nope. And eh, he's not attacking anymore. So I think he has color change. That doesn't make sense. Throw an Ultra Ball. No, not even shaking for an Ultra Ball. That's weird. It's not fast, so I'm surprised it hasn't crit once with the Leaf Blade. It doesn't like Ultra Balls, guys. Rock Ice. So I mean, it's it, it's a false Pokemon. It's still rocking out with that grass, uh, that Rock typing. Uh, give it a name. Ooh, I want to save the shiny for shiny. <laughs> uh, all right. This 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 isn't on a sub or this is on a um a comment um uh, someone who left a comment a while ago. This one's not enough po power that I want to give Miles. This one's not hitting our team. This it absolutely has to. Steven's in the house. So Steven's might be a bot. He just said, loved it, and then that was it. That might have been a bot comment, but we take those. We don't hate those. I want this item here. Uh, go away. Hey, it's Armaldo again. Uh, so we're actually smart to not get into that fight. Ayapa Berry. Alright. So yeah, this isn't going to be one of my 40 to 50 minute videos, unfortunately. Oops. Went, went too far over. Uh, just because I want to get this out remotely. 
Can one day over. But I do aim to still at least get this encounter up here. I think there's someone I can heal up with. But yeah, the Liquor Rage encounter is going to be a level 30 static. So, I mean, it, it can fit in perfectly with the rest of the team immediately. Like, I don't even have to train. It's just like, boom, I'm on the team. He's Blue's my highest level at 31 because I'm focusing on him. Yeah, I think I can heal here. No, I can get that super out here, right? I don't think there's much to do. All right. So yeah, there's nothing really can, we can really do. So I wonder, did it, was this Lake of Rage named Lake of Rage all along, or did they rename it Lake of Rage, also known as Gyarados Lake? So I think it was Lake of Rage and then became Gyarados Lake because of the Gyarados. So let's put the Bidoof up front. I'm going to heal him up. Let's get a little healing going. Because we want... Because this is a level 30 encounter. So this isn't going to be no level 15 hitting me. Here we go. Let's see what, it, what our static is. It's a... Uh, ooh... All right. All right. So let's lower it to. Oh, it has spore. Wait, I have spore. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to lower its attack. Oh, I woke up on the first go. Nice. The only issue is the fact that it's. Yeah. It's a normal type move. So I'm glad I'm lowering its attack. He's going heavy on that. Yeah, the burn's only mildly annoying, but I'm going to be using Super Fang, so it doesn't really matter. Oops. Oh, I only got five Super Fangs. All right. Oh, actually, no, getting burn's perfect, because it means he can't uh, put me to sleep. I mean, he was already faster than me, so that didn't matter. For another. Alright, so I'm going to pull Bidoof out for Shucky. Oh, for Fishers, jeez. Let's put that to sleep. I believe I have a Super Fang. Alright, so one looks like it's on one HP. Put to sleep. I think it's time for the Cherish Ball. It's our guaranteed shiny. I think it's time for the. Sh We're going to commemorate. Come on. Oh, I. Oh, that would have been so great. Ah. Uh, oh well. Pokeball still works, right? Yeah. Uh, that would have been great to have it just to keep in a cherish ball. So it's a normal water type. So that um. Sacred Fire is Stab. Yes. So, let's see. Can I put their entire name in here? So, I'm going to drop the, the. And this was perfect for you to join right before I got this encounter. A little shiny shack. Yeah, I should fit. CK. Sorry, I'm looking off my phone, so where'd the name go? There it went. Jeez. Boom. Shiny Shack. And we get the red scale. I'm not gonna lie, I love shiny craniados. Alright. So I'm actually gonna put Shucky up front. Because Doof is burned and just taking damage as well as that. This isn't great for me. Let's get our 
non-static encounter for the Lake of Rage. It's a Ludicolo. I'm not so keen on this. But we'll catch it so we can eliminate that line. I don't think I have a low tad. I find it funny that <laughs> I'm a, a Ludicolo normally was sleeping there. I think the fun part is just figuring out what, um, uh, finding out what type each Pokemon is. Pokeball. Done. Spore makes catching Pokemon a lot easier. If you're a grass type, so it lost its water typing. Let's see. I don't think I have. Ignore that. Just ignore everything that's going on behind the screen. Okay, I just looked at my subscriber list since the shiny rock, uh, shiny shack joined up. Uh, nice, impressive sub counts. They're sitting at three point two k. I need to go check out your channel then. Oh, let's see. I think all you got it. This goes to you, Melissa. I don't think I named anything after you this entire um, uh, series. I'm bad. M -E -M. All right, this is probably going to be our last encounter. But we'll see after that. Miles, you might have to wait another. Um, uh, you might get the legendary. The legendary is not until after the last badge. But we'll see then. Let's see what power we can come across. Right, so we're not going to run down. We're going to lie down our sieves. So guys, make sure you um, must subscribe and comment. As you can tell, that's where I get my names from. And I am at a point where I don't have enough subscribers to name every encounter after someone different. Sometimes it gets repeated. Sometimes I immediately give it to the first person who, uh, the next person who subscribes. So I think at the moment, I think I've hit all my subscribers, at least all whose names pop up. I found out some can be hidden. Which is an interesting setup. Let's see, what is my time now? Let's see, let's get things started here so we can just really quickly wrap up their whole syndicate. I'm in the wrong one. It's the one with the antenna, Justin. Very easily disguised as a tree. Dragonite, hyper beam. He just killed a guy. He straight up just killed a guy. You move. I love the fact that Dragonite doesn't use strength. He does. Lance is just so powerful. He's just like, I don't need a Pokemon doing this for me. Did we heal? We did. So I'm gonna put blue back up front. Uh, let's get, knock some of these fights out. Okay, we're only gonna have time for this first one. But we can get some progress into Team Rocket. I think their mons are like level 15 to 20. <laughs> 17. I mean, it's between 15 and 20. Hey, we just caught your fully evolved form. Castidic. No. And Weedle. This is gonna be nothing. I mean, we're getting Weedle's move set, all right. All right, so we gotta do that one more time. I'm just gonna leave Blue to fight because I don't need someone else getting static. Oh, I okay. So, okay. Let's 
Psycho boost. Oh, good. I was worried that that might be super effective and it would hurt. I mean, we're essentially twi twice this level. All right, so I'm gonna actually switch out. Guillotine, no. I do not like risking one hit KOs. All right, so now I am gonna switch now that he's 32. And we're gonna switch out to Iro. Iro needs to get to level 40. But we'll still be switching out because I wanna keep some a somewhat balanced team. So before the next gym, I will be having another uh, training set, set, set uh, essentially leveling everyone up because Jasmine had a 35. Okay, so I was right, 32. So let's see what Bayleaf becomes. It becomes a Sneasel. All right. So Sneasel is an interesting one. It's a normal type with chlorophyll ability. But I mean, his attack's super high, so stuff like Leaf Blade and Fly are a lot better for him than the Bay Leaf. So that's interesting. So let's get you moved. We're gonna put Ira up front. And we'll see how things go wrong wrong go along so i'm gonna save here and we're gonna call that an episode uh sorry again for the short episode this week's been a bit rushed as for the fact that this episode's already going up late just by the time that it is 9 58 by the time i'm ending this so again i hope you guys have a great weekend going forward i'll see you on monday with the next episode stay safe and peace